Good morning, students. Continuing with lesson 1.5, I will teach you all the rest of the lesson and we will complete it today. Now, as in the previous uh, lecture, I taught you all, you all have learned first was the formal invitation for the project Seeing Eyes, Helping Hands. <clears throat> and the next we have the notice on the notice board for the parents and the students to read. Now, third here, we go on where there is a telephonic conversation between the school and a newspaper. Okay, the man connected with the newspaper, the editor of the newspaper. Okay, now let's read. I hope you'll have your pencils ready. Teachers made phone calls to some special invitees. Special invitees means some people who are invited with a special purpose for the program. Yes, that means they are not parents. They are not students. They are not parents. But they are still being invited there for a special reason. Now, who? one of the special invitees is the newspaper editor being called there. And why is he being called there? That's what you will come to know when I read. <coughs> Here is a sample of one such telephone conversation. Okay. Receptionist. Now, who is a receptionist? The one whom you find when you enter an office or you enter a hotel. You will find someone who will guide you, who will be receiving the calls when you call. Who will be, when you go there, they will guide you as to where you can meet which person. Or if you go to a hotel, whether the rooms are empty, whether the room is booked for you, the receptionist will see to it that the people clean your room and allot the work to the people. Okay? So, the one at the front desk as you enter the office or a hotel or any place. Hello, Girgao Times. Teacher, good morning. I am Vishwas Ajinkya from New Vision High School. Could I speak to your news editor, Mr. Shashank, please? Receptionist, just a sec. Teacher, sec is short form for second. Thank you. News editor, hello. Mr. Ajinkya Shashank speaking. How are you? Teacher, fine. How are you? News editor, fine. Teacher, Mr. Shashank, I have a request. I am calling from New Vision High School. Our school is starting a new social work project. Okay. Now, what do you mean by social work project? Something, it is a project, but it's not just an art project, not just a, a picnic or something like that. I'm just not a competition. It is a project wherein you are doing social work. Social work is when you are doing voluntarily you are helping someone or some people or anything in society doing some good work which will help the society okay like for example if you are helping the orphan children okay you go you go to baby visit them and you regularly give donations and you regularly go to help them out in the work over there maybe if they have a garden you help them to clean it if uh, you are going to uh, a school for the blind yes maybe you are helping them to cook maybe you are helping them to read a book so this way you are helping them to progress helping them to gain knowledge helping them in their work so you are doing social work yes it helps you also because you get satisfaction and also it helps the whole society as at large because society is progressing. See, even if a few people in society are lagging behind, are left behind, do not progress, it brings down the progress of the whole society, of the whole country. So if you really want the whole society or the whole country to progress, each and every citizen should be doing well, should be happy and should be be you can say not treated like a burden yes okay um where was i okay the inauguration is on the coming sunday we are sending you the official invitation today so here he's just having a telephonic conversation and you know the first uh, which we studied in the first 
uh, lecture the very first page that's what the official invitation they are going to send it to them by maybe by post or by hand delivery or whatever news editor i see teacher our idea is to make our students aware of their social responsibilities it will be a big project and we hope it will set a trend for all schools to follow so every human being has social responsibilities because you are a a social animal yes human beings are social you cannot live alone by yourself you cannot say i do not need anyone else even if you say okay i am going to live in my house i am earning my money i am eating the food earned by my money when you eat your food the the crap that's there the scrap the dirt who takes it away do you yourself take it and go to the dump yard no you need someone to take away your kachra your garbage so that person is doing a work for you yes same way when you drive your car on the road those roads are being repaired by some poor workers the lights are being worked by the government the streets are being cleaned by some workers all these are doing it for you if the roads were not repaired would you be able to even drive your car no you would be a useless person sitting in your own house doing nothing yes and your house would be full of garbage so you need other people to live a normal life unless you are abnormal yes so you need other people to live a normal life you need your vegetables you need your fruits you need your milk you need your food your rice you are not going to grow your rice you are buying it from somewhere else yes you are not growing your wheat you are buying it from someone else and then you are going to the mill the flour mill to make it into a flour and then then you get to eat your chapatis right so you are, you cannot do everything by yourself even your shoes even your clothes are you going to make the clothes i am not ta- talking of just stitching it you may know stitching but can you make the material no can you make the shoes by yourself no you need people who are making them and then you are buying it from there that's how you can live so that's why we are saying when we are getting from society it is our duty to also give back give back in equal measure not like a conjuice you know don't say oh why should i give but when you give back remember what i told you when society progresses you are a part of society you also are going to progress yeah okay okay here what is he saying we will set a trend means we will give an example to them as to what should be done and how they can do it yes so they will follow us other schools will follow our example we will be setting the trend we would like your paper to cover the function prominently cover means not put a cover on top means to record the uh, program or maybe come and uh, you know what you say uh, report about it in the newspaper on the tv yes maybe on the radio they will tell other people they will inform other people about the action of the school about the project of the school how they did it when how the children did it how they went about doing it and what was the result of it and prominently means give it importance not just keep it somewhere in the back page maybe it will be on the front page maybe in the corner but it will be in the front page or maybe it will the heading will be in bold so people cat it catches the attention of the people okay hmm well uh, news editor well this sunday is going to be a busy day but as you say the project is an important one it should get good publicity publicity means um known well known to the public yes public will come to know about it when did you say is the function teacher this sunday at 10 in the morning news editor fine i've made a note of it teacher thank you very much so here what sort of is this what sort of an invitation it is an oral invitation okay see an oral invitation and we go to the next one students passed on the message to their parents here's a sample now here 
the students are informing their parents about it orally mummy you and daddy are invited to our school on sunday the 9th said samir what's the occasion our school is going to run a project called seeing eyes helping hands there's a function to inaugurate it on sunday at 10 sharp students of 7 standard are invited with their parents where is it in the school assembly hall how long will it be about an hour miss naik will be there too she is going to inaugurate it see remember i told you ms when you talk of ms here ms is used when you don't want to mention whether and it's generally used for a lady so you, that lady doesn't want to mention whether she's married or unmarried if it's unmarried it will be miss miss if it's married mrs mrs but here she doesn't want to specify whether she's married or unmarried so it's ms okay miss she's going to inaugurate it i see and what's this project about oh we are all going to visit places and work for others turn by turn they'll explain that on sunday so even the children are not aware of the whole thing they just have a small idea that they are going to do some social service so you are going to participate in it aren't you yes mummy let's see daddy and i can't both go but one of us will accompany you means accompany you means we will come with you come along with you that would be nice because mr ajinkya has specially asked all the students to tell their parents about it so this is another oral invitation so here today we learned two oral invitations and before this we learned two written invitations now i will give you the homework after this that's for the first uh part which i taught you okay but i want you to read this part also at least twice okay do have a good day thank you